Are you tired of stumbling over English articles? Do you want to communicate with clarity and precision? Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'll take you on a step-by-step -step journey from confusion to clarity, unraveling the mysteries of English articles along the way. Get ready to conquer this linguistic challenge and become a master of English articles. Hi everyone, I'm teacher Andre from ChrisAmericas.com where we help you level up and show the world the best version of yourself. Today, we'll unravel the mysteries of English articles, whether you're a beginner or intermediate English learner. This tutorial is designed to help you gain confidence and accuracy in your language skills. So let's dive right in. Let's start by understanding the basics of English articles. In this segment, we'll explore the different types of articles and their fundamental purposes. There are two types of articles, definite and indefinite. Our definite article, the, is used before a noun to emphasize that the reader is aware of the word's identity. Indefinite articles, a, and an is used before a noun that is general or when the identification of the word is unknown. In some cases, nouns don't require an article. One of the most common stumbling blocks in English learning is knowing when to use a and when to use an. Fear not. In this segment, we'll break down the rules and expectations so you'll never get caught off guard again. The indefinite articles a and an are used before a singular noun to indicate that the noun is one of a kind or that it is unspecified. The choice of a or an depends on the sound of the first letter of the noun. We use a before nouns that start with a consonant sound. For example, a cat. I've never been in close proximity to a cat, to a big cat, to a tiger. A house. And these animals evolved a bulldog-like, wide-gauge stance, giving them immense stability. Because when you're 65 tons, when you're literally as big as a house, the penalty for falling over is death. A tree. As the ancient Chinese proverb says, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, the second best time is today. We use an before nouns that start with a vowel. For example, an orange. Wayne Dyer has this great story where he says, you take an orange and you squeeze it. What comes out? Orange juice. An apple. Every single thing you consume contains water. Your morning coffee has water. So does your breakfast. And that snack. An apple, an orange, a glass of juice, a granola bar. An elephant. Now, a lot of times people also have trouble with the notion of wild ideas. Why do you have to have crazy ideas? Because, you, you know, no one's going to use the idea you know, well, what if there was no gravity? How would we solve this problem? And that's one of the prompts I throw. When, when people are stuck, I give them prompts like, what if you were an elephant? How would you do this? You know, how, how would you use a mouse if you were an elephant? How would, you, how would you do this if there was no gravity? And they have some crazy, crazy idea. There are a few exceptions to this rule. For example, you would use an before the noun our, even though it starts with a consonant. The H is silent. So if it's 110 kilometers to Toronto from Kitchener and you're traveling at 120 kilometers an hour, which is the speed limit on the 401, you know that it's going to take you an hour to get there. So it can also give you an ETA, an estimated time of arrival, if you pay attention to these signs. You would also use an before the noun university because the U is pronounced as a vowel sound. I had this idea uh, of, a, of an, an educated citizenry, right? That they, the idea of a university education was not just professional training, although that too. The definite article, the, is used before singular nouns to identify that the noun is specific or unique. It can also be used before plural nouns to indicate that the noun refers to a specific group of things. Here are some examples of when to use the with singular nouns to identify that they are specific or unique. The sun. Adding more memories every day, every week, wins, etc. Little ones, big ones, all this stuff under the sun, which at the end of the day, it's just making up. The moon. Right now the moon is rising in the northeast. 
the Eiffel Tower. Well, you know, when you tag the Eiffel Tower, a lot of other people did too, and so the statistics of the Eiffel Tower and the, and the images make it pretty easy if you have a big data set like Google does to tag that photo. Using the with plural nouns that refers to a specific group, the Beatles. EMI record company's pockets all of a sudden feeling very empty decides to sue this nobody for all these words. This plan in fact backfires and they pull this fan into the limelight for all to love and admire. The Beatles, angry by all that has been taken from them, have a song called Revolution 9, which is nine minutes of remix, remix, remix mastered in sounds. The Kardashians. Vocal fry is a kind of pronunciation difference affected in the vocal cords and mainstream media tends to vilify vocal fry, pinning it to young women and uh, blaming the Kardashians for instituting its use. The seven wonders of the world. My name is Nkosla Tinyati. I'm a UNICEF fifth climate advocate and a proud Zimbabwean. I live in a town called Victoria Falls, which is home to one of the seven wonders of the world. The can also be used before singular nouns that are preceded by a superlative adjective the most beautiful woman in the world. When we learn about this young lady we f are falling in love with, what do we do? We tell her how beautiful she is. We tell others that she's the most beautiful woman in the world. Did you know that sometimes you don't have to use an article at all? In this segment, we'll uncover the situations where omitting an article is the correct choice. Say goodbye to overusing articles and hello to clear communication. For example, you can say, I love dogs. You don't have to say, I love the dogs, because in this circumstance, you are referring to dogs overall and not a specific group of dogs. I think it's A. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add another choice, D, all of the above. Oh, I think it's A. Okay, you're wrong. It's all of the above. I even try to give you the answer because I love dogs too. When referring to plural nouns that are not specific, you would say, I saw birds flying overhead and not, I saw the birds flying overhead. This is because you are referring to unspecified group of birds and not a specific group of birds. You just saw birds flying overhead. When referring to abstract nouns, you would say, I believe in love and not, I believe in the love. I believe in God, I believe in oneness, I believe in unity, I believe in love, but it doesn't really matter what I believe in as long as I believe that the sole purpose of my existence isn't the fulfillment of my own ego. This is because love is an abstract concept and it does not need an article. Now that you've got a solid grasp on the basics, it's time to tackle some tricky situations with articles. From idiomatic expressions to geographical names and more, we'll explore the nuances that can chip up even the most advanced learners in English. Singular nouns can be used both countable and uncountable. For example, the noun bread, used as a countable noun, one slice of bread, as an uncountable noun, bread in general. In the sentence, I ate bread for breakfast, the noun bread is used as an uncountable noun, so we don't use an article. However, in the sentence, I ate a slice of bread for breakfast, the noun bread is used as a countable noun, and that is why we use the article a. Ah. Nouns that are used with different articles in different dialects of English. For example, in British English, they would say, I saw the lorry that was blocking the road. But in American English, we would say, I saw a truck that was blocking the road. Congratulations, you've completed the From Confusion to Clarity step-by-step -step English article tutorial. You have gained the knowledge and tools to confidently navigate the world of English articles. Remember, practice makes perfect. So keep applying what you have learned and watch your English skills soar. If you want to use English to take your career to the next level, click the link under this video to join our Level Up training. And if you want speaking practice all day, every day with native teachers, watch our free 16-minute lesson on how you can understand what I'm saying, but you still can't speak. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to press like, press subscribe, leave a comment below 
and I'll see you in our next video. Bye everyone.